Okay, do you have some questions from some viewers? We have one from Crazy Dance 101. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds like you're being healthy and dancing a lot. Uh, it says, have you ever turned down a job for what you had to do in order to get the job? I'm assuming that's something, you know, nudity based or something, you know, promoting uh, something you're not okay. interested in. So did any, <laughs> yeah. have you, any of you girls had to do that? Lisa? Um, I actually got an opportunity to do a really cool, awesome, high fashion thing for, sorry, blog uh they wanted me another straight size model to do straight nudity um and they would fly me to new york the whole nine yards and i i refused and my agent um at the time she you know she kind of pushed it but then she understood but that was i that was a job that i turned down full nudity not okay i mean everything's hanging out not my cup of tea well let's, <laughs> let's talk about that and i think sarah you have a lot to say about this so i mean in my opinion, I feel like there's artistic forms of appreciating the body and shooting it in a beautiful way. And then I also feel like there's a form of fashion porn where there's nothing different about it if it were in a different magazine, that that's really what it would be used for. And especially with plus size models, it's very rare that we get the opportunity to shoot an editorial. And if we do, all your goods are gonna be out. Like every time, it's never in beautiful clothes or like telling a story, it's very sexual. Mm -hmm. So what do you, why do you think that is? That this trend seems to be so, you know, nip, nipples and cigarettes really is what we call it. <laughs> we're like, oh, we're so high fashion right now. We got nipples and cigarettes happening. <laughs> yeah, I, that, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know why you know, in the plus size world, that's that's kind of the trend as far as with editorials, maybe because it's like, oh, well, we'll show, you know, big, beautiful bodies. We want the bodies instead of it being about the fashion. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It's, it's, it's What about on the straight size on side? I mean, you've talked about certain photographers that shoot tons of nudes and you're like, clients, like, you know, it's a, it's a fine line of it yeah. being... Well, from, you know, as an agent, as the booker, when I really look at, um, you know, when those jobs come in and we have to say, okay, am I gonna submit on this job? Who do I have? Who would be comfortable with it? Is it worth it? And I really have to think long-term with the girl's career. Because once, once the pictures are out there, mm -hmm. they can actually do more damage than good. So it might be a cool picture. It might be a one-time really cool job for, you know, a celebrity or for a certain, specific thing but then long term a lot of clients they don't want to have a model that has naked pictures out there they it's called a what is it morality clause I'm totally ah. drawing a blank right now and a lot of times in the contracts there will be that and, and if and they will google they'll google the girl they'll find that you know it's like okay does she have naked pictures out there does she have anything that will you know taint their product their image, their image. Yeah, yeah their image then she's gone Hey guys, in case you missed our show live, it's now available on demand on EmpowerMe.tv. So make sure that you click subscribe to follow me and my sexy husband and all the beautiful models to see what we're up to. We'll see you next week.